So behind me is a 2016 Chevy 1500 that is outfitted with a Magnum Series rear bumper. Today I'm going to be walking you through the installation of our proprietary backup light system that we designed in tandem with KC Highlights. Okay, we've got our Magnum bumper laid out here on the ground, so we've got a surface that we can work on. I've got some cardboard down here to prevent any kind of damage to the powder coat while I'm doing the light install. We have our KC light. We have a template that comes along with the light that gives you the exact bolt pattern and layout to where you want to put this light uh, when you're fixing it into the bumper. Now, there's a lot of surface area here on the outside of this bumper. It looks like you can put this thing anywhere. That's not the case. You've got to be conscious of everything that's on the back side of the bumper. This thing has bumper brackets that are welded to the inside of the bumper. In some cases, we have parking sensors. In some cases, there's items on the truck, receiver hitch or something else that's going to prevent this light because of its depth from fitting where you think it might, uh, might look like it's gonna fit on the outside of the bumper. So what we wanna do, we wanna identify on the bumper from the backside where the best place to position this light. I've already done that. On this particular application, pretty much centered right off this integrated tow hook is where this light is gonna fit best. I, yeah, I can put it out here and I can put it out here and there's no interference issues on this particular application. But always, always be very conscious of that before you start drilling holes in your bumper. Okay, one of the first things I want to do, and now that I've kind of identified where I want to put the light into the bumper, is I'm going to get some painter's tape. I'm going to put out covering this whole entire section here. That way I can prevent any kind of scratching to this surface. We're going to be using a hole saw to punch this hole, and any of the slag that comes off this, or any of the little curly cues, I don't want those things sticking to the bumper, maybe potentially doing some damage to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some painter's tape on this thing. cover up all this nice powder coat so we don't do any damage to it. This also gives me an area that I can mark out where this light is going to go from the top side real easy without getting anything on the powder coat. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover this up real good. All right, got that. We have our template that's supplied with the light. It's a little bit big, so I'm gonna cut this down, trim this down, make it a little bit easier for me to identify where it goes. I know that I wanna be centered off this tow hook, so I'm gonna measure over from this nice hard seam right here on the inside of the bumper on the step area over to my center line. I'm then gonna mark up from top to bottom, put this thing pretty much smack dab in the center of this bumper, and we'll be good to go. Okay, got this cut out. I've got myself some crosshairs here so I can align this. All I'm gonna do is really just line all these nice little lines up on the bumper. That gives me exactly where I need to drill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on this. I wanna be able to save this because I need to reuse this on the opposite side of the bumper. I'm gonna tape this down. Just like that. I'm not gonna use a center punch to give me the centers of these holes before we start drilling. So always try to mark your center lines. I'm gonna pilot holes a little bit smaller uh, than what my pilot drill is on the hole saw that I'm gonna be using. That way I've got a nice, clean, concentric hole and the thing doesn't wanna walk around on me. When using a hole saw, you gotta be careful because they have a tendency to wanna to kinda of walk around once it hits this flat surface. So you gotta be careful, just take your time and this will come out just fine. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and center punch these holes right on the middle of those little X's. This will give me a really nice pilot area when I drill. Peel that off. We're going to save this for the other side.
Now these outside holes, approximately 5 16 uh, is the correct size that you're going to drill these to. The center hole, we're going to be using a hole saw. Um, this inside hole is going to be inch and seven eighths to two inches in diameter. Um, either one will work fine. Nothing less than one and seven eighths and nothing more than two inches and you'll have the correct hole size. Okay, so we're going to pilot these holes first. One of the nice things about installing this light that we designed with KC is how easy it is really to fit this into the bumper. Every hole that we're putting into this bumper is a perfectly round hole. We're not cutting a rectangle, we're not cutting a square, we're not cutting some odd shape. It makes it really easy to go down to any hardware store. Most everybody has a drill in their house. You can buy a hole saw, they're relatively cheap. You can do this, you have a nice clean precision hole without no, no fuss, no muss. Okay, now that we've got our hole drilled, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little deburring tool. I'm going to hit this inside edge just to knock the little flashing off that's in there. We want a nice, clean mating surface. When we put the light in from the rear, we want that thing to have a nice flat surface to sit up against so that it doesn't, you know, distort the light or make it sit at a funny angle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. <laughs> Yeah, that feels really good. Nice, nice and clean. Okay, now that we've got the center hole drilled and cleaned up, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take these other four remaining holes, we're gonna open them up to 5 16 I'm just gonna drill them straight through. We'll do the same thing from the inside. We'll try to get those to bird, and then we'll be ready to uh, put our lights in. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do before I remove any of the masking tape that we put on here to protect the uh, powder coat, I'm gonna shoot a little bit of satin black spray paint on there. I've just got some Krylon here. Again, just a satin black. All I'm gonna try and do is hit these areas that we just opened up and took their powder coat from. If you don't coat these areas, you will get rust on these over time. So you wanna make sure anything that we've exposed into bare metal, we need to make sure that we put some sort of protectant back on it. We need to seal that surface back up. I'm just gonna use some regular old spray paint uh, any number of things you can put on here, but what we want to do is we want to paint these areas before we remove the masking tape. That way we're just hitting those areas only. Now when we flip this bumper over, I'm going to hit this from the inside as well. So I'm going to do both sides of this bumper. Make sure that I've got both this inside surface and this top surface completely coated. That way we can, there's no chance of getting rust on this bumper and that way it'll last for years. As you can see, we got five nice holes painted. Once we put the cover over this, when we put the little front lens plate on there, everything's going to line up beautifully, just like that. And all we need to do is load the light in from the backside and we're ready to rock. We've got this thing ready to go onto the vehicle. Before we do that, on this particular application, we will actually want to install our KC backup lights into the bumper. Reason being is this light is positioned directly behind the inside bracket. Once it's installed on the vehicle, it's going to make it a little bit difficult to get to. It's just one person doing this job. So we're going to go ahead and put this in ahead of time, show you how easy this is. Okay, so 
We're gonna place the light up inside the bracket, line it up with the holes, make sure it looks like it lines up good. Lay the bezel over the top of it. Gonna get a couple of these supplied Allen bolts started. You use a five millimeter Allen wrench to get those guys in. Okay, so we got all the screws for the faceplate and the light started. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna line this thing up, make sure it looks like it's nice and in line with the bumper, and then just start tightening these things down. This is going into an aluminum housing, so you don't have to get crazy with tightening these. Do recommend, though, after you've installed this, you drive your vehicle for a few miles, just put an Allen wrench back on these bolts, just double check to make sure that they stay tight, and periodically do that as well as you drive the vehicle. Do not put any Loctite on these. That can create other issues if you ever need to remove this light, so don't do that. Uh, but just periodically check them, make sure they stay tight. Once you've tightened them once or twice, they should never come loose on you. Okay, there you go. So we're gonna repeat this on the opposite side and they're ready to put the bumper on the truck. Okay, now we've got both lights installed into our Magnum bumper. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install this on the vehicle. After that, we're gonna get out the supplied wiring harness and the instructions. We're gonna tie this into the factory wiring on the truck, and we're good to go.